Hi, I'm Andre Faust. What gave me the idea to put this tutorial together was that someone had approached me this week about a problem that they had with their email client, Microsoft Outlook. I looked at the at the computer and at the and at what they were doing, and uh, yeah, sure enough, you couldn't see the names. Uh, you, you know, you could see everything else, but the name of the sender. Well, this was happening while they were in production, so I didn't want to spend a lot of time and bog them down because I know that they had other work to do and uh, not being able to uh, see the sender's uh, name wasn't keeping them from working. So I, I had a pretty good idea of what the problem was, so I came back to my own computer and what I did, I recreated the problem and then, of course, resolved it. And it was quite a, a simple thing. and. Uh, I guess that's why I'm doing this video because I imagine this is a common problem that happens and for whatever reason that you lose, uh, you know, that feature, uh, only the computer knows. Uh, you know, a lot of time it can happen that you inadvertently change something in a setting or something like that or other times it's just gremlins. So I'm going to do this tutorial I'm going to take you step by step to the solution that I found. There may be other solutions or there may be other problems, but I think this is probably a common problem that people do. So here it is, step by step, on how to resolve the problem of not being able to see the sender's name in your email. Okay, you've opened up your Outlook email client and the first thing you notice is that the names are no longer there. That means the, the sender's name is no longer visible. And you wonder what happened. Well, it really doesn't matter what happened. What is, but the reality is, is that it's not there. So I'm going to show you how to get that back. So first you go to View, then second to Change View, and third to Manage Views, fourth to modify view, fifth go to columns and at columns for number six you go and look for from and you highlight from and you click on add. That's your seventh step. Now this is at the bottom so if you leave it there you will not uh, see it and it may also that is been moved there and that's why you can't see it. In either case you've got to make sure that it's going to be above the subject line. So I just held my mouse and dragged it up uh, to, and stuck it between the attachment and the subject. So boing there it is. Voila. So now that's done. Number 8 press OK. Number 9 press OK. Number 10 apply view and the names have come up as if we see Infowars, Amazon.com, Twitter, Bruce uh, MacGyver, whoever that is, uh, Kelly Handerman, who's uh, Seabrae. So all the names are back. So I'm just going to go through this quickly, just the steps once again. So you go to uh, View, Change View, Manage Views, Modify. Go to Columns, check to see where your subject's at. If it's not there, come over to this side here of the column on the left-hand side and uh, place it over to the right-hand column. And if it's at the bottom, move it to where it's between Attachment and Subject. And that should solve the problem of not being able to see the sender's name.
Thank you very much for viewing this little tutorial. I hope that it helps you resolve this particular specific problem that you have. Until next time, this is Andre Faust.